What's up gamers? Hey, once again, thanks again for tuning in to the Game of Rebirth DL channel. So today we're going to be updating the PS Vita on a lower firmware to 3.60. So what we will need, of course, a PlayStation Vita. Also, we will need the internet access. Now as for the installation, we're going to change the Wi-Fi settings, DNS. Now I know from Team Molecule, set your DNS to 212.47229.76 and choose to update from Wi-Fi. Proceed only if the message says a new version of the system software is available. Firmware 3.60, compatible, that's it. Now we're going to be installing the new official firmware. Also we're going to be installing Henkaku. So now let's see the example. Links as always in the description for the source. Also remember to check my Twitter. Enjoy gamers. So I got this uh, PlayStation Slim for 140, 32 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte version 3.50. Let's the hacks begin guys. So we're going to go to our settings. We're going to select network, Wi-Fi settings. Choose your internet connection, select advanced settings. Now the only thing we have to do, so DNS settings, we're going to select manual. You don't need to do anything else, we're just going to select on the primary DNS, we're going to put 212.47.229.76. Secondary DNS, we'll leave it blank proxy server we just leave it how it is do not use and then we click OK so it'll save our settings now we're gonna go back and we're gonna select system update now we're gonna update using Wi-Fi now please note you gotta check if it says 3.60 as you can see a version is available 3.60 compatible has to say that so we're gonna select yes we go through the installation process system update you can see I sped up the speed a little bit more for you guys so it just takes a few moments so just let it be touch the system make sure it's charged so it'll install download it first and then it'll install it As you can see this PlayStation Vita slim version it's flawless no scratches like new I'm excited for this new little toy that I got now I have two PlayStation Vitas so I think it was a good deal so as we can see, we're almost done with the installation here. Also sorry for the lack of news, I got sick for a bit. I'll try to keep up with the news. Thank you guys for being patient. So now I'm going to go back to the settings. Also, I'm just going to show you the system information. As you can see, it's 3.60. In the beginning, it was 3.50. Pretty cool. So now back at it to the Wi Fi settings. Just remember to go back and reset those settings that we changed. But what I just did to make it easier. I just deleted the internet access I had. So just click delete. And then it should appear again in your Wi Fi. So just input your password and then you should be fine. Everything should be back to normal. So that way it doesn't ask you to update anymore. So I'm just showing you here 
the example, it's back to normal. So I don't need to worry about anything. So now let's see if we can install our beloved Henkaku. So as always, HTTP go.henkaku.xyz. Look at that. Works like a charm. The easiest update, I, I think. Uh, I know I did it once manually. It took forever. But look at that. I have my two PlayStation Vitas. I'm excited. I'm back, guys. Sorry for the lack of news. I'll be posting more things on Twitter. I'm just showing you guys here that I have enabled my new place PS Vita Slim to Henkaku. Let's welcome the hacks. As always, Gamers Rebirth out. <laughs>